What's up, guys, and welcome back to Planners and Wine. My name is Megan. And I am Myra. Welcome back to a, another week. Yes. And this is such a special episode for a couple of reasons. Number one, it is our last episode of 2022. I cannot even believe it. And the other reason, even better, saving the best for last, is we have our girl, Laura of Plan with Laura, joining Yay. us once again. Y'all know we couldn't have a whole year of Planners <laughs> and Wine without Laura. It just was not going to be right. Um, also, Tanya, I'm coming for your spot. Okay, that, that needs it's to be the first thing y'all that we say. Yeah, y'all That's are tied. That's the first thing that we're going to say. Tanya, I'm coming for you. Thank you. Okay, run my check. <laughs> run it, run it. But yeah, Laura, thank you so much for joining us again, our friend. How are you doing? I'm doing so well. It kind of caught me by surprise that you said that this was your last episode of 2022, and I was mm-hmm. like, oh yeah, that's over in like a week. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Mm-hmm. right yeah. like yeah. I don't know what happened this year but like somehow it like flew. normally I'm so prepared right mm-hmm. and this year it's just like jump scare you know yeah <laughs> literally <laughs> literally it's like once once we got to spooky season with Halloween everything else has literally felt like a blur it has flown by it has been the craziest thing ever and now we are embarking mm-hmm. into 2023 soon Trippy. It's okay. We're it's gonna be a great year, but it is. You know, I'm not the most prepared for it. If we're gonna be honest, girl, who is? <laughs> anyway, if you if you say you are, you're not. You're not. You're, you're and there's two <laughs> types of people: the people who say they're ready for 2023, mm-hmm. and then the people who lie and say they're ready for 2023. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> oh, is that the poll? Which one are you? <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's the poll. <laughs> That's the poll. <laughs> run it, Myra, run it. That is the poll. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, on this eve that we are recording, we got some super, super exciting news from the Go Wild team about the, the last speaker announcement. And y'all, I'm speechless. Like, Myra, Laura, I'm like, speechless. <laughs> Every function. time Laura comes on, like the world literally turns black girl magic down. it's black a hamilton magic. moment and nice. it's a hamilton moment every time period yeah <laughs> when the black I'm pretty girls sure that was up. a title of laura's last episode too <laughs> like what is happening how I does just, the universe know <laughs> they just know they just know like something amazing always happens but yeah we just got the announcement today that the amazing beautiful talented um, Renee Elise Goldsberry will be a speaker at Go Wild 2023 in DC. <gasps> and it's it's the black girl magic for me. Once again, it's, the, it's just yes. all just the stars are aligning, you know. Myra, this means that you have to watch Hamilton again. Again. Officially, yeah. yeah. <laughs> at least part one. <laughs> yeah. At least part one. Okay. Because that is when Renee is really like giving the she girls her bad. What she, yeah. yeah, she's Wait, in her I bag. Think- no, I think she does the best when, um, like in Burn. Renee, which is part, which oh, is part yeah. two. Wait, Renee you know? wasn't in Burn. That was just um, oh my gosh, the wrong one. Yeah, look at me confusing people. <laughs> sorry, on brand. sorry, on sorry. brand, Lord. <laughs> okay, sorry, 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 sorry. It's fine, but yeah, part one. My, I just think you have to watch the whole thing. I'm, I'm, yeah, I look, mean, that's fine too. It, it's fine. You know, she's just I, I'm, good. She's y'all amazing. already were telling me before we even knew this that I had to learn some things, girl. From, it's a like for you for karaoke. So it's just it's just you finna know actually. every lyric to every song by the time we're done with you. You're about to in- embark into a Hamilton boot camp because Literally. you got to stay ready. Because what if Renee decides to come to karaoke night? We got to put on a show for her. Like I'm low key thinking uh, costumes. <laughs> Don't get me started. <laughs> I think we should have costumes. Should we go? Should we go poll here? Should we go as the Skylar sisters? Oh, That's a cry. <laughs> this thought alone makes me so excited. Okay. <laughs> Y'all. I love this for us. I love this for us. Who, like we are now packing mm. for Go Wild as if it's RuPaul's Drag Race. Like I <laughs> <laughs> might as well be. <laughs> Because we come to compete, okay? It's not even Truly. a competition, but we about to win. <laughs> okay. 
but no, oh. for real. Like Renee is just so amazing. It's gonna be so cool to see her on that stage and you know, possibly get to like take a picture with her or something. Like you're absolutely made. Like I couldn't have I couldn't have guessed uh somebody better to round up the lineup of speakers for Go Wild uh, 2023. It's about to be a whole movie. A whole, a whole movie. movie. I cannot wait. I, well, and she's also in She Hulk. <gasps> okay, yes. I didn't watch She Hulk, so I didn't even know that. I think Myra, you had mentioned that to me, so mm-hmm. I didn't even know that. Okay, so now I'm watching She Hulk. That's fine. <laughs> totally fine. Um, yeah, and it's gonna be absolutely amazing. And I think so much of like us being in DC, that being so iconic to like mm-hmm. Hamilton. Like, I think like the unofficial slogan is like the room where it happens. You know, mm-hmm. like I, it just feels like so many works. things are coming together. Mm-hmm. I, again, I think it also is just like giving. We need to come in costume. Period. What? Period. <laughs> okay, I Mara, start <laughs> start rehearsing. Okay. You can even, you can even, like, if, if you're shy, you can be Peggy, okay? Period. Uh, well, and I'm Peggy. not shy. I just need to learn stuff in, like, work, under work. two months at this Never point. Come. Work, work, Eliza. And oh Peggy. <laughs> this is about to be a whole moment in time. <laughs> I'm so excited. I cannot wait. It's going to oh. be oh, so good. So, okay. So more on wild, like what workshops and speakers are you guys most excited to see, hear from, interact with, get a picture with? Like, let's, let's get, let's get that going. Yeah. I mean, I think what's so cool is that like this, with this being the last announcement of the speakers, it's feeling like I can actually like start preparing myself to be like, okay, you know, mm-hmm. like this is what the day's. I mean, obviously, you know, we, we don't have everything yet, but like mm-hmm. starting to be like, this is what the day looks like. And this is where I want to go. And this is where um, I want to be. Okay. So off the top of my head, I have recently become a Bujo girl. Period. And <laughs> so, um, someone who I'm just like, so like planner world. So excited to see is Bonnie um, mm. from Archer and Olive. Just like, yes. cause I, I booed you in an Archer and Olive. I use it every day. Um, you'll die. The planner people will die because I spelt my kombucha in my uh, bujo the other day. And I was just like, <gasps> but it like, it all, it all it's, we're good. Okay. We're, Ooh, we're good. That's like, like my worst all, nightmare it's the paper. spilling <laughs> some liquid it's, on my it's planner. The paper, Ooh, you know? It's the paper. Love it. So it's like, made to I, be painted on. It is. Kombucha. It is. <laughs> made to be painted with, with Specifically. Kombucha. Okay. So that's your ad for Archer and Olive is can, can survive a kombucha spill. Okay. And it looks like artwork. I love period. it. I love it. Oh my gosh. Yes. Bunny is going to be so, so amazing. I mean, honestly, like the whole lineup of the founders panel is just like oh, chef's geez. kiss. Wow. I could not have thought of more perfect people to do that. It's going to be absolutely so cool. Like, yeah. what about you, Myra? Uh, I mean, same with the founders panel. I, I mm-hmm. got to go VJ. Period. I knew you was going to say VJ. That's why I was like, let me think of somebody else because Myra's about to take VJ from me. I just You already know. <laughs> you already know as I stare at my notique. I'm just so excited. We talked to her before and um, she is just so moving. I, mm-hmm. I know the whole room is just going to be captivated with yes. what she got to say. She is yeah. just so inspiring. That's so true. That is so, so true. Uh Love BJ. Love her so much. Um, For me, I mean, obviously, it's insanely hard to choose, but I got to go with uh, Angel Trinidad from uh, Passion Planner because I don't know. It's just something about the brand of Passion Planner itself that has just always been so different and so inspiring to me, like compared to a lot of other planner brands. Like you just you just really can see the vision and feel like the passion behind her company, like with the whole, like how it started and all of that. Like, it's going to be so, so cool to hear about that story and her story, like from her perspective on the wild stage. Um, And it's somebody new and different who's never been there before. So I think that is going to be amazing. Mm -hmm. Amazing. So, And then when, when it comes to like, I'm really excited for all the little like um, fireside chats, like mm-hmm. workshops, things yes. like that. Um, so the one I'm so excited about is to see Darian doing digital planning. Yeah, um, I, I mean, Darian is incredible, but like, I also like, 
I think it's just so cool because I think a lot of times in planner verse, we talk mm-hmm. a lot about just like paper planning and mm-hmm. as someone who like loves digital planning and uses a lot of digital planning, like I think yeah. opening that up um, and providing like resources to just show how yep. cool it is and how it can enhance your paper planning mm-hmm. is love that. I love that too. Yes. And I love the whole aspect of them having these workshops in the main ballroom too. Like, I feel like obviously we can get a lot out of, you know, hearing people speak and speeches and things like that, but having things that are a lot more interactive is going to be a really, really cool experience. I'm really, really excited about that. I'm really excited about that. Absolutely. Uh, I can't wait. Cause I, I don't like for a long time. I got to hear like, Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. I said, I got to hear y'all's workshops. Who Which one's you excited for? Oh, <laughs> I was like, wait, our workshop? Well, you, te- you about to tell us something we don't know? Hey okay, guys, <laughs> really quick, to announce here, live on the pod. Okay, I have no authority to do this. No, I'm just kidding. She, she's joking. <laughs> I'm, I'm 100%. For, that is a joke, okay? Allegedly, what, what are all the words we have to say? Like, Y'all, if y'all don't know that Laura is literally one of the biggest trolls in my life, period, probably the biggest. Like, okay, <laughs> y'all just got a little taste. <laughs> Uh, let me think um what I'm really not sure to be honest like I'm obviously very excited about Darian very excited about like Sierra and what she's going to be able to bring to go wild like Amy Tangerine like uh it's just if y'all don't if y'all can tell I'm definitely looking at the list of all the people because there's so many people I can't even <laughs> keep so track of people um Amber from Damas Love Oh yeah, I think sure. what she does is going to be so cute and so cool. So I don't know, girl. I'm just, I'm just okay. going to be happy it's to okay. be there. I'm going to just be happy to well, be there, period. We're going to be happy to be there, shedding yeah. the tears, hugging all the people, you know? Mm-hmm. 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 Maybe not. Hugging hug y'all. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> Um, I am I am triple boosted. I'll be quadruple boosted by the time okay, I go out. Wait. around. It's fine. <laughs> so I... You know, you know, I like to come on Players and Wine and go off the script because that's what I have to do, right? Period. Um, <laughs> so I've actually stayed at the Go Wild Hotel multiple times. Yes, and I've been okay. there. So uh-huh. do you pick my brain? I, I'm putting you on the spot, but like what is like the I mean the hotel is incredible. It's in one of the most um it's an incredible location. Yeah. Legitimately less than a five minute block. There um is a street. I will have to figure it out what that street is called and tell it to you by the time this show goes live. But there are so many cool like restaurants, bars, cafes, yes. things like that that so are it's located very in there. walkable. Area. Oh, it's super walkable. Perfect. I mean like you can legitimately walk from where we are staying to the monuments. It's going to be a longer walk. Meg likes to get on me because in New York, if it's less than a 30 minute walk, I walk always. Um, and I'm like, so, what? <laughs> 30 minute so walk. Like, so that's my like barrier. Um, okay, okay. But it's also like super easy, super easy for like Ubers, for um, things of that nature. I mean, like we'll be doing so much in wild itself that like, you know. Yeah. But just if you're getting there earlier or later, um, it's dog friendly. My dog's coming. Mm-hmm. She will not be at go out. Like she won't be in the sessions, okay, but like right. she will be there. Period. Um, they have a cafe, like, um, like a, like a Starbucks okay. type of thing, but not Starbucks. Yeah. So it's not Starbucks, yeah. but it's like mm-hmm. their brand. Um, but it's more than just like a coffee counter. Like they have mm-hmm. like uh like a snack section a food section like with muffins and like smoothies not made to order like pre-packaged right right um Mm -hmm. and things of that nature I'm trying to think what else um that's totally amazing is the coffee good yeah well okay so (laughs) as a a coffee connoisseur so I will I will say I do not like flavored coffee like I just like straight old espresso coffee things like that. So what is that person to ask? But go ahead. <laughs> I, I find, like, I, I had, like, a latte when I was there, and okay. it was great. Like, okay. a latte with okay. milk, and it That's was great. That's a good so, sign. Like, That's a good the sign. The coffee, and, like, yeah. I'm kind of a coffee snob. I'll say it in that way, you know? Okay. So I, I cannot speak to, like, what, but I will say, the last time I was there um, was, like, three weeks ago, and they had, like, pumpkin spice, like holiday, like mm-hmm. mint, peppermint, oh, okay. mocha. Like they had nice. kind of their so own specialty versions. Drinks. 
specialty drinks and nice. things like that. So it wasn't just like, you know, sometimes you go to places it's like cappuccino, Americano, blah, blah, blah you know, mm-hmm. that wasn't the vibe. They had other things. Okay. Um, awesome. And so I enjoyed the coffee. Yes. I, that's the coffee I will be drinking while I'm there. I will not be getting up that early. I will send my loving husband, um, who's going uh, to be the morning person. Jesus, our husband, who will be going to get <laughs> the coffee. Everyone's He'll coffee be ours for the week, too. <laughs> yeah, literally. I've already told him. I was like, yeah, so, like, you know, you're coming in and you're doing this. But, like, you know, you got to watch the dog. Then you also have to, like, volunteer and, like, help unload things. And you have to, like, do X, Y, and Z. <laughs> you, He's we're, already we're put the work. work. I love that for you, too, Michael. He's such a team player. I love it. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I'm I'm really excited about the area that the hotel is in because, guys, if you've never been to go wild before, it is so easy to forget to eat. Like something yeah. mm-hmm. fundamental. Super like easy. there's so much excitement. It's so much going on throughout the day. By the end of the day, you might be literally about to starve to death. Like, mm-hmm. so it's good that these things are going to be in very much close proximity to us. Um, and I will I'm going to make sure I, we eat. I'm going to make sure we eat. Okay, good. That, we'll, we'll put that on you. Yeah. Okay. I got That's you. on you. Myra got, got to you. make sure that we're drinking good coffee and water. Okay? Period. <laughs> yes. Um, Period. Stay hydrated. <laughs> Important Stay well. hydrated. Hashtag <laughs> hydrated. I will also say um, one time I got into that hotel super late because I was doing something else, whatever. And I ordered Uber Eats to the hotel. So like, you can also like get. Yes. Love it. Nice. Yeah. Love it. Have it come. You're, I'm so excited. I'm excited. And they, yeah, I'm excited. It's going to be great. I love good it. Good lighting. So, you know, good for the pictures and stuff. Yes. So yes. I'm sure that uh, Team Wild is going to be putting out, you know, an official itinerary soon, but they already have put out like their tentative itinerary, mm-hmm. which is really similar to last year. So what like event are you guys like the nighttime events? What nighttime event are you guys most excited about? I know it's hard. I, it's Andrea. Hard. <laughs> yeah, I, I'll, yeah. Shout Hopefully out to Andrea. Andrea is coming. I, I Andrea, hope you get to do your uh, join song. us for a song. We'll do a song with you, Andrea, <laughs> yes. if you're listening to this. Shout out to you. But yeah, karaoke yeah. night sponsored mm-hmm. by Chrissy and Designs is yeah, oh, welcome party. Be so good. Yeah. Yes. So yeah, good. that's what I'm looking forward to. Um, I guess it's even more exciting because we're apparently doing a Hamilton song now. So I remember you know. Hamilton songs. We didn't say just one. I know. Well, okay, we have <laughs> to just I think we need to start, Meg, like the long term game of this is just be like Myra, like watch Hamilton a couple of times so you learn the Skylar sisters, okay. and then it will just like by osmosis, yep, get to be a part of her brain. Perfect. I think that's perfect. That's the perfect strategy. They already but calculated. Peggy. Yep. We gotta, I gotta try to find, <laughs> see how I can pack one of those period gowns. We need a whole nother suitcase. <laughs> <laughs> Just for oh. the welcome party. But it's oh gonna be fun. Oh my gosh, fun. it's gonna be so, so fun. What about yes. you, Laura? Oh, this is not what you asked me because, you know, I have to be different. Girl, period. Um, I didn't expect anything less. <laughs> <laughs> but I get super, super excited for Shop Summit. Okay. And so yes. like, that is something that happens like the day before, like, I mean, go out is fantastic, but I'm also just mm-hmm. really excited for, um, shop summit. I think if yes. you're a business owner, if you're someone who's like in that room, I think it's beneficial to a lot of people, but like, I, um, really love shop summit and that I'm is. excited for, um, what's to come this year in terms of shop summit. Yes, yes. And for anybody who might not be familiar with the Go Out Conference Shop Summit set up, it is a separate ticket than the mm-hmm. actual Go mm-hmm. Out Conference, right? But you don't have to be like a shop owner or anything like that to attend. Like anybody can attend. You just have to buy yeah. The ticket. Last year, it was actually really. I thought it found it really interesting. Obviously, a lot of people who own their own shops, um, or even just like a lot of small business owners, mm-hmm. um, whether they were in the planner world or beyond, like. The topics themselves are like, I think the topics last year were like all about like, should you have an LLC or not? Yeah. Like licensing, you know, like what does it like, mm. um, you know, like what does like digital marketing look like? Like they're, they're broader topics that can, right. I think can, can really apply. And also too, I think it's really cool because you get a lot of, um, there's a lot of collaboration opportunities, like a lot of times. So like, like one of the things I remember being like, to me, I don't make stickers, right? I, mm-hmm. I don't have the equipment. I don't have the, the energy, the time. It's not a skill set that I have, but like right. I had a lot of really cool ideas. And like I could have linked up with someone who was a sticker shop 
maker, you know, and it's like, you know, how can you collaborate with that person? Um, so I really think it's also a way to like connections and networking and things like that. Love. I'm so excited. But yeah, that's what I'm excited for. Yeah. That was going to be my question. Like, do you think it is for people who do like service-based business versus more product-based business? Can it be Um, beneficial? So I honestly think, I think if you're posting online, right, which I think most people are, if you're trying Mm -hmm. to be a creator or if you're Mm -hmm. trying, like, I think if you are trying to be serious about a business or being a creator or being in the online space, then Shop Summit is really beneficial to you. Because Mm -hmm. like, one thing that I personally say as someone who like, is a full time creator, you know, like, I honestly learn the most from product based and service based businesses, like me as someone who's like, just a creator in that way, like I, I'm, I'm a life a lifestyle creator, right? Like I learned the most by seeing how people are incorporating like storytelling and things of that nature mm-hmm. by using their products, using their businesses, using their services. So I think mm-hmm. it's open to all, you know? Um, yeah. And I think that it, it can be really beneficial if you're like wanting kind of like to be, let me figure out how I want to say this. I think it's super beneficial, especially like if that's a goal for you in 2023. You know, um, you know, and if like you want to be in DC a day earlier, you know, like it's a full day worth of programming. Um, I think there's a lot of really valuable information. And again, last year I hosted shop summit and like, I was like in the back taking so many notes, you know, (laughs) and I was like, I was like, Oh, gotta change this. Like, Oh, I, that's very good information, you know? Yeah. Um, and so I really like that there's this kind of, um, curated, space for people mm-hmm. who are aligned in that way to really kind of talk about business and right. that world. Love it. I'm so yeah, excited about that. about that too. And you I mean, guys should go. We'll see. You know, we'll, we'll be in the area. 23 in <laughs> you know, we'll be in the neighborhood. <laughs> we'll, we might drive by. You never know. <laughs> but y'all already know the thing I'm most excited about is plan JAMA. And I kind of feel like as Fun as Plan Jamma is, it's a little bittersweet because that's like the last like official event for Go yeah. Wow. So that's when you know that everything is coming to an end. Um, but this year, I need us to have a plan for what we're about to do after Plan Jamma because I don't want the turn up to end after Plan Jamma. It ends at like 10 o'clock. Mm, mm, we can find there's some to do There's some really events. great karaoke bars around. Um, Period. The, the it's LA. Watch part two, Myra. Watch part two also. <laughs> we got a lot of songs we got to get through. <laughs> but I also, okay, this year for Plan Jamma, I want to see, like, I mean, yes, wear what you're comfortable with and all of those types of things. Mm-hmm. But, like, I'm really here. Like, I want to see, like, coordinated outfits. You know? Like, yes. I want to see, like, yes. fun. Like, can we do an unofficial, like, fashion show? Uh, Absolutely. <laughs> Say less. You know? Let's get this going. Let's get this going. I love that. Like, yeah. should somebody dress up as a planner? I'm shocked. Has nobody ever done that before in Plan Jamma? I feel like it's on brand for this community. We like want 10% should... if you take that idea. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's, that's, that's my check. <laughs> my check. But like, I want someone to be a planner and then yeah. someone to be like a music note. Plan Jamma. Oh, that's... <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Like, yeah, let's have fun with it. Let's get creative yeah. with let's it. Let's have fun with it. Yeah. 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 We I can also that. then reuse our period piece costumes. You know, I was about to say, is there a way that we can have our period piece be a pajama? You know what okay. I'm saying? Maybe we could get Skylar sister t-shirts, right? And yeah. each one of us could get like a silhouette of the girl. <laughs> I'm about to cry. I'm so excited. Okay. <laughs> uh, I can't talk about this anymore. Okay. I'm about to <laughs> Oh, I just can't wait. So I'm much so fun. Excited. But yeah, yes. I think you're right, Meg. It is bittersweet, but um, mm-hmm. it's, oh, a movie. it's, it's such so a good time. Such it's a good time. time. Yes, yes. And hopefully Happy Petter come through, you know, sponsoring the open bar. Because, ooh, I think the bartender knew our name by the end of the night. Actually, I'm pretty sure they did. <laughs> yeah, but definitely you know, did. Y'all know how we get down. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> we did. We were very we nice. We did. We did. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, on to 2023. So Laura, what is your 2023 lineup looking like? What do you have coming down the pipeline for next year? 
Okay, so 2023, um, my lineup, you guys are getting the exclusive because I have not told anybody about what it's going to be. Um, So like I told you guys, I have been bujoing in an eight by eight Archer and Olive notebook. And honestly, it has been the most incredible. Um, And it's been one of the things that's been really incredible about it is Mm -hmm. the fact that like I am someone who like loves stickers I love functionality but sometimes I get like analysis paralysis when it comes to my planner right Mm -hmm. like I I have this idea of like oh my gosh it has to be perfect why I have to write these things in listen I got so much ADHD and like I call it dyslexia but like dyslexia Mm -hmm. um you know like I have so much dyslexia like all these things that like for the longest time, like I saw my planner as this place that had to be perfectly like curated for me to be able to do my plan. And like, yes. this is why I need, this why I need to talk to Bonnie at wild, but like the Bujo <laughs> has been so incredible <laughs> to me. Okay. Okay. Because it's like made me learn to be messy in my planner, oh, you know? Love it. And like, it's yeah. been something where like, I, like I have spilled kombucha in my planner. Like mm-hmm. I have I started stamping in it, like as like Mm -hmm. a fun little thing. And like, sometimes if you've ever stamped, I'm not a crafter, but like sometimes you stamp and half the letters don't come through the stamp, you know, like it's become a thing where it's like, you know, you're making these spreads and you're drawing this out. And I'm like, how the hell did I miss two lines? You know, Mm -hmm. why are four of my boxes, seven (laughs) lines and the other two, five lines, you know? Right. Um, and so that is not an answer to your question of what is my 2023 lineup, but I think that sentiment of like Mm -hmm. embracing being messier in my planner and embracing um, kind of the chaos that comes along with it is something that like I am really trying to bring into what my planner lineup is going to be in this year. Now, listen, I was on your podcast last year and I told you that like so much of my planner is like a reflection of what my next year is going to be. It's Mm -hmm. a look forward into like what my life is going to be. Um, I have also realized things for myself of like, I'm really not more than like a two planner person. Yeah. I might have more mm-hmm. than two planners, but I'm not using more than two planners. Yeah. Like right. I right. could sit here and tell you that I have all these different planners and hear all their intentions, but truly I'm not using more than two. Like, right. sorry, I'm Period. calling myself out on that, you know? <laughs> um, so what is my actual lineup? Um, so I do still want structure cause I cannot bujo every single week. Like I, I, I just don't have time to yeah. you know? Yeah. Um, <laughs> so in the new year, I'm going to be using an Erin Condren softbound vertical planner. Oh, um, is it the yes. NLV one or it is? One that's truly why I got it. That's truly why I got <laughs> it because I'm an hourly girl through and through to yeah. my core, mm-hmm. but kind of twofold here. Number one, it's Edavi. I love everything Edavi. Period. Like, yes. I yes. if Edavi could paint my house, hundred percent. Literally, like, girl, just go off whatever girl, colors you want to do. <laughs> just go off. You, you don't even, <laughs> do not even consult me. Just mm-hmm. like it's one of those like I flipped your house. Like I leave for yes. me and I come back. <laughs> mm-hmm. Great, love it. Wait, this is um, lit. Do we need a YouTube <laughs> show with Edavi doing that to people's houses? <laughs> or a TikTok show. To Make it happen. Doing. Come on, Lord. Literally. You got it. Okay, Edibie, let's chat. So, um, <laughs> listen, I'll always shoot my shot. But so I'm doing that in vertical. But I also think, too, like, I want to push myself a little. Like, I don't ever use a vertical. And so I kind of want to push myself there. Like, yes. I think that's, you know, like, as a planner person, like, I kind of got to push myself. So yeah. that's what I'm using as, like, my everyday planner. Um, and in that I'm also incorporating my goals. So Mm -hmm. one, another big tenant of what my year is going to be this year is I'm calling what I, or I'm doing what I call no bullshit goal setting. Yeah. And so in that, my biggest elements is that like, I have just, the first time I truly, truly, truly did goal setting was in 2019. Mm -hmm. We'll just leave it at that. And then in 2020, (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> I, I turned into a new company and I started using the Moxie Life system for goal setting. Okay. And that was revolutionary. And mm-hmm. it like so shaped what I did and what I, um, and how I felt about goal setting, mm-hmm. but I never was quote unquote successful. Now I know Sierra will probably come for me and be like, there's no success in your goals. Like it right. looks different for everyone. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. like for me, who's like recovering perfectionist, like all of these different things, like it, it wasn't good enough for myself. Gotcha. Right? Like, gotcha. <laughs> That's real. That's real. Yeah. Yeah. And so what I've really learned truly through like Moxie Life and through like kind of the people that I follow and like who Mm -hmm. I take inspiration from is that like goal setting is such a uniquely personal journey. Mm -hmm. And I think two things are true for me. Number one, 
I was the most successful when using a Moxie Life because my goals were incorporated with my planner. Mm-hmm. And so yes. even yeah. though I'm not using a Moxie Life planner, I still want to incorporate my goals in the planner. Number right. One. Right. Number two is that like there was a system at play. And again, I think Moxie Life is incredible. But mm-hmm. right now, I do not have that time and attention to focus and do goals in the way that I think would be most beneficial mm-hmm. in the Moxie Life system. Right. right so I'm yeah. taking a lot of tenets from the yeah. Moxie Life system, right? Of like mm-hmm. checking in with my goals daily, checking in with my goals weekly, mm-hmm. reflecting. But I'm just going to go ahead and add that into my own journaling. Right. Uh, sorry, my own planner. Gotcha. You know, gotcha. Um, so I've set up a couple of notes pages, like in the front of my planner, in the back of my planner, mm-hmm. where I'm listing them out and I'm checking in with them. Nice. And like, I'm kind of creating my own system in that way. So Love that's it. my, that's my number one planner. Yeah. You know? yeah. I'm so I'm excited nice. for you. You have some insane things going on in 2023. Yeah. Can we talk a little bit about your <laughs> social star cohort before we wrap up? We need yes, some yes, details. Yes. And how are you using and how is this new goal planning system that you've kind of created for yourself? How is that helping you Ooh, with your business? That's a good question. Yeah. Love it. Or so, businesses because y'all, businesses. the girl, she girl. busy. She busy. She be working. Period. <laughs> no sleep. Um, <laughs> <work>? So <laughs> <laughs> work, work, Angelica. Um, see Myra, it, it comes into everything. It just but, works. <laughs> the biggest thing. So, um, one thing I'm super passionate about is, um, social media. Like it's my mm-hmm. business. I've been a full-time creator. I'm, you know, in that sphere. And I think one of the biggest things is that when I was creating my social media platform, it is the wild, wild west. There are no, I mean, yeah. there are rules, but like, it's hard to understand what the rules are. And so I have kind of, cre- I uh, have my Patreon, which has gone through many iterations, but the most, the one I feel most aligned with is what I call social stars. Yes. Um, and so with that, it's been really focused on social media and focus on social media, not because like, this is the way that you should do it, but being Mm -hmm. like, Hey, how are you being realistic with your goals, with yourself, with what that turns out to be? And it's been incredible. Um, I've loved social stars. We've done it for about almost a year now of what that looks like. And, um, it's been incredible, but I'm always someone that like, we can make it better and like, Mm -hmm. we can do it better. And so I think in thinking towards the new year, being realistic with myself, sitting down and actually doing some goal setting for myself. One Mm -hmm. thing that I decided to do is open up a cohort. And essentially, um, I want to bring people in who are maybe not at like level a of social media. Like Mm -hmm. we have made our social media accounts. We know how to post reels. We know how to post to the feed. Like we Mm -hmm. have some ideas of what we like to post, but who are like ready for that next step, who feel like maybe I've gone as far as I can go by myself. Right. And I want a little bit of help or I want some strategy at play. Mm -hmm. Um, And that like, I'm really ready to kind of up level my content in that way. And so that is what I'm calling like my social stars cohort. It's going yes. to be a year long cohort. You don't have to pay for a year up front. You can pay month by month. That's what everyone always <laughs> asks me. <laughs> um, but in that social stars cohort, each month we'll be having two calls and all of the calls build off of one another. Right. Um, and I think that's like the most, like, and we're spending the first kind of Q1 being like, what are your social media goals? Um, I do not have the schedule in front of me, but like, in February, it's mm-hmm. like diving deeper into like, what does that look like? In March, we're talking about content pillars. And then also kind of simultaneously talking about like, how do we work with brands? What's a media kit? What does that look like? And so Love it. Um, I would say about 50% of the cohort so far for people who've signed up um, are in the kind of creator space. Um, and then I would say about 50% of the people either have a product based business or service based business. Right. Um, again, I think like, but it's helpful either way. Other. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, for sure. Absolutely. And so, yeah, we'll be having two calls a month. Um, I'm going to be doing like kind of a little bit of homework. I always tell people I can tell you all these things, but like mm-hmm. if you're not implementing it, it's not going to do anything. Right. Um, and yeah, that's what we have for social stars. There's a lot of going to be a lot of like fun mm-hmm. community building things. Mm-hmm. We're going to do accountability partners. There are a lot of things that are in the works. Um, but a huge, huge part of it is that I just wanted to bring together a very intentional community of people who are looking to grow, of people who are looking to use monetization tools and of people who are ready to put in place a strategy to really focus on their business or their brand in 2023. Oh, love it. For the people who are ready to work. Period. Mm -hmm. We're going to put you to work. Work is the, is the word of the year for 2023. (laughs) Maybe I should... (laughs) 
<laughs> I love it. So Laura, signups are open right now, correct? How long yes. will they be open? So signups are open now and then they're going to be closing in January. I'm being very strategic about this. So they'll be closing January 15th, but um, okay. we are going to have our first call on January 10th. Um, okay. but then they'll officially close on the 15th. And again, I'm really doing this because each one of the topics do build off of, of, of each other. Mm-hmm. And I thought it would just be really complicated to like, if we've spent three months building, like, I always say like social stars is like building a house. You start yeah. with a really strong foundation and then yes. you add strategy and you add, decorations and paint and all that type of stuff on top of it. And I thought it would be really hard for someone to come in at like month four when we've already done so many different topics and be like, wait, what are you talking about? How do you make a real? Right. (laughs) Like, girl, where are you being? Right. Exactly. So um, with this, again, we're, I'm trying to be really intentional with the community that we're creating, but so signups are open now through the 15th of January. Um, And if you have any questions, let me know, but I think we're going to have a fun time. Yes, Laura. Uh, I'm so excited for it. Super excited so for it. So excited for it. Myra is already a part of this. Mm-hmm. I am going to be embarking in this as well. I don't, I don't know. know. I've been, I kind of been like one foot in, one foot out with like my country created. I'm I'm going all in for 2023. At least I'm trying to. So we're going to see. Laura about to whip me into shape though. I already yeah. I mean, and that's right. That's right. Yeah. Sorry. I, I know you're trying to, we, we no, need to wrap up and we'll, we'll, we'll be there in a second. But like one of the things that I think is so brilliant about it is that like this cohort is really built on and like so essentially I'm going to give you my story I went into the mountains and I locked myself away (laughs) from humanity okay okay and for three two days I 100% dove into all of the content not the content all of the curriculum creation behind this so like yes every single topic has been so thoughtfully um thought about that's not the way I should say it but whatever every like piece of homework, like is to build upon each other. And like, I think the benefit of this is that it is so focused on like, um, when we're having our calls, like Mm -hmm. participation and like, we do breakout rooms and we do all these fun little things. Um, so that you're paired with people who like have the same goals as you or like are in the same niche as you. And like, so you're getting access not only to peers to get live feedback for like what you're wanting, but like, any of my social stars can tell you, like, if you join, I'm giving you feedback all the time of like, "Mm, Mm -hmm. let's do this. Or like, here's how we can tweak this and make this a little bit better. Um, people have seen some really fun results. Absolutely. I love it. Anyway, I love it. I think the community is probably one of the best aspects of it because you just are with, you know, like-minded group of people who have similar goals to you a lot of the time. And you're able to see like, you're not alone. Like there are other people who are learning and try to build and make something amazing too. So, and it's nothing wrong with needing help, needing some strategy, needing a little bit of assistance. And Laura is absolutely your girl. I love it. That's what I I love it for. Yes. Yes. Thank you so much for joining us today, Laura. It is so amazing to have you on the show as always. Where can people find you more information about your social star cohort and also more information about Go Wild DC? Give us all. Okay, so Go Wild DC, you're going to want to follow Wild for Planners on everything, especially over on TikTok. Okay. I'm just, that's, that's the eyes emoji. Okay. Go follow <laughs> um, over on TikTok. Uh, me, I'm everywhere. Plan with lore. Social star is just like Patreon plan with lore. Google it. You'll be able to find it or DM Here. me. We can chat. Um, yes. But yeah, so that's me. I can't wait to see you guys in the room where it happens in yes. DC. Yes. Um, and if you see us in costume, let's take a picture. Literally for real. And, and uh-huh. it's okay if you want to call us um Eliza, Angelica, and Peggy. That's totally fine. As well. Okay, but remember My- Myra is Peggy. Okay. Myra is Peggy. Don't forget. <laughs> Don't We're still trying wrong. to work out the other roles, but Myra it's is okay. Peggy. But Myra is Peggy. The husband decided. I'm fine with that. I'm totally fine with that. <laughs> oh my gosh thank you so much Laura we love you so much guys stay tuned for the rest of the episode we'll be right back all right guys so we are back uh Myra I need you to talk about your social star experience with Laura like let the girls know like why social star is such an amazing thing to embark on for 2023 I am so excited to be the person to tell y'all all about 
<laughs> social stars. I'm a proud social star. I've been doing it for about a year now. Mm-hmm. Um, and I'm super excited for Laura's changes. I know she talked about it briefly with going into a cohort. I think it's going to be even better. Um, so we can all be on kind of on the same accord and everybody learning while, you know, in their own lane, yep. but kind of growing together. But yeah, my experience has been very positive. I feel like I reached a place um maybe this time last year or a little bit before where I was like, um, at a roadblock when it comes to like my replays it like the podcast was growing mm-hmm. I could see a light and vision for that but when it came to like my personal platform I just could not see the light at the end of the tunnel so I definitely hopped on um I do one-on-ones I don't know if there's any availability but with the one-on-ones I do get access to the cohort too and I I mean engagement out the roof yep. um like I'm in love with my platform again that was a big thing like I was yes. doing YouTube and I felt like I was just doing it because you know that was a right of that passing. was the thing to do yeah 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 but I wasn't really in love with it so I love the realness realness of lore she simply was like if it's you know if this not what is you know bringing joy mm-hmm. to you stop doing it there has been several times where I like oh I should pick up YouTube again because YouTube is like the only one that like brings in some level of income as far mm-hmm. as the social platforms. And she's like, no, you need to focus on like what you're doing right now, what you yeah. can handle. And, you know, I needed that realness, that um, rawness, yeah, no bullshit, basically yes. like, Hey, you know, what do you realistically have time for? That's something that she always tell everyone in social stars, like mm-hmm. be realistic. Yep. You can't say that you're going to spend 10, 20, 30 hours a week on your social media when you don't have that time to do it. When you're working a full-time job, when you have kids, you have other responsibilities, you have to be realistic. So yeah, I've absolutely enjoyed it. I've definitely have grown a lot, very much so in love with my platform. I feel like I am switching for just being just planners to, you know, more of the creative side that just so happens to use a planner to manage all of that. So, um, yeah, if you are looking for something, you're in a rut, you're trying to like, you already understand a reel, Mm -hmm. you already understand how to post on Instagram. You already understand the basics, but you just want to take your stuff to the next level. I think the cohort is perfect. It's going to get you there. Um, and yeah, I don't think it's just for creators either. Like if you're a business owner, Mm -hmm. you can do it. You know, if you're trying to like build your own community online, you can do it. But, um, yeah. Yep. I I love it. Yeah. My favorite thing that Laura um, mentioned earlier in the episode about her social star cohort is it's all about strategy. Like, Mm -hmm. can you do social media and just have absolutely zero strategy behind it? Sure. Mm -hmm. Are you going to find a lot of success, though, is the thing. So I feel like that kind of helps you to put it more to perspective about figuring out what your goals are for social media like do you want to be able to make an income from social media do you want to be at your highest level as far as content creating like what do you really want to get out of it because both of those things involve some strategy like Mm -hmm. if you're just posting you know randomly willingly just to post like there isn't a lot of strategy in that and I think that probably shows in a lot of people's success and their engagement and their ability to get sponsored ships um and things like that so yeah I just I I love 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 that everything that Laura is doing with her social stars what she's been doing I mm-hmm. am really looking forward to joining um and being a part of that in the new year because I have I've been able to find my love for Instagram and for you know creating content in the planner community again but what I'm missing is the strategy part of it so I know Mm -hmm. I'm going to be able to get that from Laura and like you said like she's just so honest but also kind but she's gonna let you know what you need to know so no bullshit I love that I'm I'm very much so that and obviously Laura is much 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 nicer than I am but (laughs) she still give it to you straight much nicer (laughs) No, Laura is an absolute sweetheart and she will definitely give it to you straight. So yeah, Mm -hmm. we are really, really excited to to see all the amazing things that she's going to be doing in 2023. And we would love for you guys to join us um, on Team Social Star. So check out the link in our bio, head to Plan With Laura on Instagram, her website, get more information, um, ask her questions about it. If you Mm -hmm. think you might be interested in it to try to gauge if it might be for you or not. That's another thing that Laura is really great at like 
if you're not sure if it's for you, ask her and she'll have that yeah. conversation with you mm-hmm. to figure it out. And it's not going to be her just sitting there trying to convince you to join. It's going to be her trying to figure out if it truly is for you because she doesn't want to waste your time and she's not trying to waste her time either. So I love Yeah, love absolutely. It. And I will just say too, because um, speaking of like built in a community, the social star community is absolutely amazing. The mm-hmm. folks that are already there, they always are really open. I know first starting out, I was a little like reserve a bit Mm -hmm. because I'm more of a person like I kind of like the one-on-ones, but I have slowly um, been loving the the group aspect of it because just getting a different perspective from somebody who is a business owner or, Mm -hmm. you know, are in a whole totally different niche than planning. Like it's Mm -hmm. nice to get those feedback as well. So yeah, I think it's perfect. Um, If you're looking for it again, it's in the show notes. Shout out to our girl, Lore. Uh, okay, so let us get into our 2022 um, review. So how do I want to start this? We actually got a question from a follower on uh, Instagram. Shout out to you. She just wanted to know, Myra, what do you think about RuPaul's All-Star Winners um, season of Drag Race from this past year? I think that's what she's talking about. What did you think about Uh that? Yeah. I, I enjoyed it. I love the format of nobody going home. I don't think there could have been any other way because they all are winners. Mm-hmm. Um, so having a winner going home first is unacceptable. So I do like okay. how they did it to where no one went home and it was more so a point system. Mm-hmm. Um, once That's I realized, cool. yeah, that is really cool. And I realized it's basically Mario Party because they were getting yeah. like stars and stuff too. So I was really <laughs> into it then. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Um I'm okay with the winner. Um, okay. I mean, Jinx won. It's been like six months. So if it's a spoiler, I don't know what to tell you. If you ain't watching <laughs> it by now, you ain't never going to watch. <laughs> so yeah, I'm not mad at Jinx winning. Um, fun fact, season five, which is Jinx season, original season that she won, is when I first watched Drag Race in okay. real time. So, um, yeah. So yeah, it is, uh, Jinx is very like special to me and Mm -hmm. like my love for drag, but, uh, y'all know I am a Bob and Monet stand. So obviously I wanted Monet to win. Mm -hmm. She, we all know Monet won that lip sync, that final lip sync. She, she won it, Mm -hmm. but it was in the cards for Jinx to win. And I'm not mad at it. Honestly, I wouldn't have been mad at at any of the people there, but, but yeah, um, Long story short, I did enjoy it. Um, <laughs> looking forward to that happening again because I think that is fun. It's fun. That's a great format. Yeah. I love the idea of winners not going home because like mm-hmm. Big Brother every few years, they do like an all-star season. I don't think they've ever had one where it was just winners, but it was like mm-hmm. winners slash like fan favorites, uh, people who just really deserve a second chance or whatever. And mm-hmm. there was absolutely nothing stopping them, like somebody who literally won their season from going home week one. So yeah, I like I like the idea of not having it it be the format like this. Just to, to truly give a winner a chance to shine because sometimes they need more than you know one or two weeks. And who knows? Like maybe the person who won, maybe they would have went home and not won had it been like the original format. So yeah, really neat. yeah, for sure. And I think it it was a bit of a redemption for um, Jada Essence Hall because she they filmed their season pre-pandemic mm-hmm. but it aired as the pandemic was happening like it mm. like when everything shut down so she didn't get the tour she didn't really get to like experience that real yeah. winners kind of you know thing because we were like smack dab in the beginning of the um pandemic mm-hmm. so I really appreciate them not letting her go because we got to see a little bit more of her because mm-hmm. we we couldn't go see her on tour and stuff yeah. so Absolutely. but yeah Absolutely. I enjoyed it and on that note, if you want reality and wine to come back in 2023, hop in the DMs and let us know. I'm just saying. Shout also, out to Danny in the survey. Yes, you know, right? <laughs> That's what Danny requested. But if you are like Danny and you want it to come back, let us know. Let our co-hosts, <laughs> Danny and Laura, know. And you know, you never know. There's a new season of The Bachelor coming at the end of January. So, I don't know. Drag Let's Race see. is coming at the beginning of January. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, well, well, yeah, let us know. <laughs> but yeah, 
Shout out to our amazing Patreon community. Uh, I created a survey, a 2022 in review survey, and they gave us a lot of amazing responses to help us craft this episode. If you are interested in our Patreon, if you've been thinking about it, now is a fantastic time to join because we're going to start doing more little fun things like this periodically because um, mm -hmm. we love you guys' feedback, appreciate you guys' feedback so, so much. And to literally be able to help us create an episode, that is the type of things that our Patreon community does and we love mm -hmm. them they're absolutely amazing so first things first the first question that I asked on the survey was what was your favorite planners and wine episode or moment from this year Myra do you have any guesses on what you think the people uh might have said for what their favorite Patreon episode I'm not Patreon but episode or moment is from this year um, I don't remember the name of the episode, but it has to be whichever episode where I finished Harry Potter because y'all blew me <laughs> the heck up. Even though I asked y'all not to, <laughs> y'all still did it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, which I, I get everybody's excited and I, you know, I get that, but it was like, y'all, I got like at least 20, 25 DMs, like paragraph long DMs. It was a lot. So that you. had to be y'all moment. That's my guess. I don't remember what episode that was, though. I don't remember what episode that was either, but we got a lot of responses to this. So we got um, the cold switching one, uh, Cultivated Rebrand. I knew Cultivated Rebrand was going to be a Shady okay, ladies. Y'all messy. Um, <laughs> let me see. Let me see. Wakanda Forever one. Uh, the, the girls love that one. Uh, woo, that'll do it. Or part two of the Go Wild <laughs> series. <laughs> <laughs> uh, pumpkin spice season um the episode that was full of celebrity garbage so that was a that was a bonus episode where we literally just talked about celebrity garbage the entire time i think it was yeah November, that was fun the bonus and it was it was a lot of fun because who the celebs was garbaging in november but um yeah somebody said myra experienced in harry potter for the first time uh a lot of people actually said myra's reactions to all the harry potter movies <laughs> Uh, <laughs> love it uh the living lavish episode um a couple people said getting to meet us at go wild and uh, seeing us on the go wild stage was their favorite nice. moment from the year love that definitely some of our favorite moments of the year too um great value planners and church girls y'all we really be doing it with these episode titles like i really forget what we name these episodes <laughs> oh i just i was searching uh yeah we mm -hmm. the episode not that they be clickbait but they be good episode titles because they, be good episode titles. they, they, they do yes. they're not clickbait because they definitely do uh what we'd be talking about but Period. i looked up living lavish and the first question is is the planner community dead where oh good question question of the year that is where is the, the happy planner squad oh what that's the question of the year that is the question of the year <laughs> And there's another question that we're going to talk about where that was definitely one of the responses a lot. So we're going to get to that. We're going to get really? to that. Yes. <laughs> but Myra, oh, do, you, do you have any favorite episode or moments from the year? Um, I did really enjoy going through the Harry Potter uh, rabbit yes. hole with y'all. I've mm -hmm. spent a lot of money. Um, <laughs> and I am okay with that. Yeah. Um, I also make sure Chuck ain't listening. I also bought one of them wands that actually spit out fire. Oh and I God. am so excited to get that. It won't come till January, but this is what I spend my adult money on. Um, so nice. yeah, that has been fun. I also enjoyed the moment when I found out the actor that plays Snape died. Not that I enjoyed it, but that was epic to catch that on camera. It was because I didn't know that you didn't know. I did not know <laughs> that you did not know. Yeah. Yeah. And honestly, I enjoy the episodes we do with our Patreons, especially the yes. one I think it was like maybe before Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. And like we were literally having a cry fest. So how like we just love we each other. So yeah. lovey dovey <laughs> and ridiculous. Yes. I'm with you. Like I love, love, love the live episodes with the patrons that we do every single month. If y'all don't know, um, before we used to do what every other month for those. And then we added mm -hmm. it to monthly this year. And I mean, those are definitely 
my favorite episodes to record they're always so fun you guys are always so interactive um and it's just a good time and it's just cool hearing other people's perspective like in real time while we're talking about stuff from the show uh, obviously the go out series i absolutely love that because oh, there was yeah, just that's so much to talk about from go out there was just no way we could have put that into just one episode and we truly got into the nitty gritty of every single feeling because obviously like we go out the highs are highs but you know there was a few low lows as well that we had to talk about um you know so that's just human nature for us to go through a a wave of emotions um and shout out to lore for that that that. strategy idea um (laughs) because we literally was like all right we're gonna talk about wild and be done with it but um the series you know came from her so so i mean i forgot about that shameless plug (laughs) (laughs) yeah she's just a genius um but also getting to experience you watching harry potter for the first time because i have dreamed about being able to watch it all again for the first time again and obviously i can't but getting to like live it through you and with you Mm -hmm. has been absolutely magical and i'm just so glad you stand because if you would have hated it i think that would have ended our friendship i think that would have been that would have been my 13th reason. Uh, we would have just been, <laughs> it would have been a wrap. It would have been a wrap. <laughs> I, uh, I mean, y'all haven't stared me wrong, to be mm-hmm. honest. Because mm-hmm. even with Hamilton, I think it's more so I'm just not a musical person or a theater and kid. 1,000%. But yeah. you can acknowledge that it is good. Yeah, some of them songs are bad. Yes, exactly. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Um, so yeah, this year has just been full of just so many amazing things and amazing guests. So the next question was, who was your favorite show guest this year? Trust me, every single person, we had exactly 10 guests. Well, 10, 10 episodes with guests. There were more than 10 guests because some episodes had two guests, but we had 10 episodes okay. with guests on them um, this year. Every single person on this list got at least like five votes, which is amazing. That means that people are loving our guests. They're loving who we have on the show. But by a landslide, our girl, Julie Spans, got the most votes for our most, uh, our the, you guys' favorite guest of the year. And Sierra from Oxy Life was a slightly close second. It was a pretty close second. Shout out to Julie. Shout out to Julie. Yay. Yeah. Yep. The girls she's our favorite uh um i was gonna say co-host <laughs> our <laughs> favorite guest yeah <laughs> our favorite guest too can't wait to have her back i know i know but yeah we we did have some really great guests on here so we had the goose we twins uh mm-hmm. jen cabrera tanya and tara from ec julie kane for print impressions dr shaquinta and kim who i absolutely love Ooh, love that yeah that was, that was so much episode. fun yeah. uh cynthia who we adore uh lauren wayne from team wild sierra and then crystal victoria so we had a really great lineup of guests and we actually made the decision last year to kind of pull back on having um guests on the show so we had less guests this year than we did the prior year but Mm -hmm. i think it turned out great and i think there was truly still a good balance of you know episodes with just us and then having those really um meaningful amazing guests on the show absolutely yeah i think um it's one of those uh quality over quantity yes. kind of thing yes. so we can really because you know when we have guests like we either know them know them already but we mm-hmm. do do our research and yeah. you know we know what we want to talk about so it, that does take time so instead of having more guests on the show we like to have less but very more quality kind of guests Absolutely. so yeah, yeah excited for the people that we can get on the show in 2023 yeah I am too and I mean not to mention we have had some amazing uh guests on our new show shots as well yes okay hold on can we give uh them some exclusive of the people that we've had on shots yes absolutely absolutely okay so we have had Julie (laughs) shocker um (laughs) We've had, oh, uh, I'm so excited. Danny, Yay! that episode was so much fun because it, it, was. Like, it was coming from the perspective of somebody joining the planner community, mm-hmm. post planner getting one. Yes, yes, exactly. Which you don't really hear too much of that because, mm-hmm. you know, majority of us, I feel like there's like the lost kids in that era, like yeah. the era that Danny came in. Like, I don't really have, well, 
at least I don't personally know, maybe y'all are out there, let me know. But I don't really know too many people that has come post mm-hmm. planner get in. Yeah. And is like kind of vocal about it. I right. know like the that's newer the folks thing. that's like maybe within this past year. Mm-hmm. Um, but I feel like coming in during that time where yeah. like you literally are that meme where you're walking in with pizza and everything is on fire. Yeah. <laughs> So that's exactly. a good perspective. <laughs> so yeah, definitely check that out. If y'all join our Patreon, that's yes. a good one. Uh, we had Caitlin from Creating Chaos. We yes. talked about friendships. Um, yes. That was really, oh, We so talked about, good. specifically, we talked about our friendship. Our friendship, yeah. With Caitlin, because mm-hmm. if you don't know, we definitely had a little bit of strife back in the day mm-hmm. and we've been able to come around and that was a really great, obviously it's something we had already talked about, but it was nice to kind of like yeah. publicly privately to the Patreon, <laughs> kind of yeah. talk about it with you guys and kind of talk to y'all about our process and how we've been able to get to the great place that we're at with her right now. So yeah, shout out yeah. to Caitlin for coming on. Yeah, so we love her. And open. Yeah. Yep. yeah. And um, Laura, of course, we've had as well, mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. talking all things social media, which um, those are one of my favorites. Yeah, We had a lot of feedback from the Patreon too, that was like, hey, you know, that really gave me a, a new perspective on you know, how I'm using social media and how I am going about my own platform. So yeah, tons of feedback from that. Am I missing anybody? Because we did start it in May. So we haven't had a full year of shots just yet. Yeah, Yeah. but yeah. And we do it every other month. So, um, you know, that's, that's our exclusive show. And that is our amazing celebrity cast that you need to listen to period. <laughs> period so come on over <laughs> yes i love it and love it and when we had julie on shot so it's it's cool because we had her on the regular episode where we were just talking mm-hmm. about the planner community in general and then we had her on shots the same month in may where we were talking about is the planner community toxic so that's when we got to get into the nitty-gritty of like back in the day in the planner community when it wasn't uh it wasn't all rainbows and stickers and butterflies <laughs> yeah it's the like day, so. the public episode was part one and mm-hmm. then you know the shots, shots episode was, was part two kind of yeah yep yep and shameless plug if you join the patreon you get access to all that just saying just immediately saying. immediately immediately yeah. yes but anyway um the next question was what big events happened in the planner community this year so the overwhelmingly most popular response was the return of big planner conferences aka go wild being back and i mean yeah that's huge obviously that is huge huge. yeah yeah i feel like this is i don't know nothing y'all this is just my um tinfoil hat theory i think a lot of the other planner conferences were waiting to see what wild would do and how Mm -hmm. it will go before they would jump back into it because um yeah i mean from what i've seen like a lot of announcements immediately after wild happened go wild is the biggest conference it is the the first that i know of on that scale and it is the Mm -hmm. bar so it totally totally makes sense to me i feel like that other companies there are conferences very smartly were like we'll see you go out and work this out in this um you know somewhat post pandemic world but not truly yeah. post because people still getting the vid so um yeah <laughs> mm-hmm. but yeah go out was absolutely huge uh something else somebody mentioned was the planner awards G- we got to shave shout it. out to uh cynthia because we talked about that on that episode that we is a, a public did. episode so you can go yeah. back to listen to that that was mm-hmm. fun uh, yep. not really fun it was it was a needed conversation it was definitely and i enjoyed it yeah conversation. yeah yes mm-hmm. uh somebody mentioned somebody mentioned uh ec she gone that's all they say <laughs> was that you that's not like something you would say <laughs> it really does actually that's kind of scary <laughs> it probably was another megan it's definitely fun another fact. megan we have at least five megas in the Patreon, at least. Period. At least five megas. It's a it's a whole club. It's a whole <laughs> yeah. club. It's a whole cult within a club. Is the and most of y'all club. spelled it the same, which is kind of funny. Yeah. Yeah. So wow. You're so wow. Um, somebody said no new Happy Planner Squad or no more Happy Planner Squad. 
I mean, we still technically got two weeks. We do got two weeks left, but it ain't looking good. <laughs> it is not. Because you know what? Every time every time we recorded between like July and September, I was convinced that the second we stopped recording, mm-hmm. we were going to get a, a happy planner squad. And it usually how it works. And it never happened. Mm-hmm. It just has not happened. So, And they hadn't said nothing to this day. Yeah. So. That's real tea. That is a huge event because- Literally, even if you're not a happy planner user, you know mm-hmm. that every you know July, mm-hmm. August ish, that it's going to be a whole big squad uh auditions, basically. Yep, yep. So exactly. yeah, that exactly. is huge that it didn't happen. Yep. Uh the cultivate what matters um acquisition to a problematic um uh, was that planner getting owner. Gary? Kinda basically, even though I don't, I don't really give cultivate what matters that much. Yeah, I don't feel like it was that. They're not a major yeah. planner community brand, in my in my opinion, at least. It, yeah, it was an emergency episode mm-hmm. worthy, so yeah, it can't be a planner gang yet. But it was a dumpster fire. It truly. was a dumpster fire for real. Truly, yeah. it was a, and y'all loved the uh, cultivate a rebrand episode because that's where we talked about cultivate what matters. Um, that title was so good. So it really was. <laughs> you was in your bag. I was in my bag every day. <laughs> we are so ridiculous. <laughs> um, oh, okay. Somebody said people who still don't understand when Juneteenth is. It's the fact that those posts are gone now. Uh, and we don't know if the planner was even fixed. We have no idea. Who yeah. buying it? Who, who, who gonna buy it? Who gonna take one for the team and let us know? And let us know. <laughs> Y'all, if, if anybody is new here, everything that I'm mentioning are things that we have talked about on a podcast episode from this yeah. year. So if you, you gotta get the binge through the archives <laughs> and you will get all the tea because these are things that we very thoroughly talked about this mm-hmm. year. Um, somebody mentioned Moxie Life's uh new new launches. So yeah, Moxie Life had a huge launch. Um, and when we had Sierra on the episode, we talked a lot about just her and her history and the history of the company, and also mm-hmm. lots of Moxie Life things. So yeah, love it. A new monthly game yes, changer. Yes, the new monthly game changer, definitely yeah. game changer. And how Sierra and Darian are both going to be on the Go Wild stage next year. So. Anyway, I can't believe she didn't tell us. Sierra, Sierra, you know you could have mm-hmm. told us. You could have gave us a hint. You could have winked, blinked twice if you're going to be on the Go Wild stage. That's when we got to start asking our guests. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, my gosh. Uh, next one is the hobo craze. Yeah, there is definitely. That's the new uh, epidemic. Literally, sure. <laughs> the hobo craze has hit the planner community literally how the Beatles hit America in the 60s, like taking over, taking over. And I'm I'm fully on board. I'm with it. I'm in it. Like, I'm, I am I love too. It. And it's you in crazy. it too. <laughs> it's crazy. It's crazy. Y'all, it's so funny. In our group chat, whenever Myra says anything about Hobonichi, me or Julie will put like a meme from like a cult meme because it's basically a cult now. <laughs> It's basically a cult. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. The stuff is so cute. It's been fun. So it's it's so strange because I had a Hobonichi for 2021. I was just like, it's not given. I don't mm-hmm. know what a, a difference a year makes. Mm-hmm. Seriously, because mm-hmm. it's given. A difference a year makes. It is given. It's given. Um, some y'all really brought up everything. Somebody said notes pays gate. Was that me? <laughs> Wait, wait. I think that was me. I'm be honest. I think that was me. I didn't put myself in the giveaway, but you know, I had to put my two cents in there. I can't believe Myra. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty no, sure that was me. Y'all, no page gate has caused us so unnecessary, so much unnecessary bullshit but over a notes page that is not in our planner, nor is it even in the planner. That I mean, I guess my is back to using it, but I yeah. don't even use that planner anymore. But it, it, y'all gotta get out y'all feelings. It's not that it's not that deep. That was the whole point of notes page is that none of this is that deep. There are real life things to worry about and be mad about. Notes page ain't it. It, it 
Why did I put that in there? Because <laughs> you messy. And you wanted to make sure we brought it up to remind people that this was dumb. <laughs> Sometimes we got to be reminded of the craziness that has gone on this year. Because that was ridiculous. It that was, was ridiculous. utterly ridiculous. And it remains ridiculous. Yeah, it remains uh, To this day. Oh, gosh. Uh, okay, so last thing somebody brought up, the changing social media landscape, especially with Reels and TikTok, definitely caused a lot of waves. That's true. Um, Instagram that is true. has changed in a lot over the past couple of years, um, and it's meant a lot of changes for the planner community, and there has mm-hmm. definitely been a divide between the people who want to just hop on the, the wave and ride it and the people who, who want to just let the wave just swamp them while they be mad so yeah 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 that is true I feel like yeah this year has been a big big debate as far as reels because you know majority of us is on Instagram yeah um it's just been interesting though Mm -hmm. because it's it just seems like overall like we're all about change we're all about especially like this time of year when we're talking about goals and stuff like everybody's like oh big change like I'm you know I'm ready to make a difference Mm -hmm. and here's a change and you know, it, it ain't gotta be for everybody. I get that. Yeah. But it just seems like, you know, everybody wanted to stump it out like it's, the it's plague. The, it's the yucking of other people's yum for me. Because yeah, yeah. nobody had everybody doesn't have to like it. Everybody doesn't have to participate in it and do it. But how it's been such loud and outrageous, like the hate of like reels and stuff in general has been in the community. Like it's just been it's been a lot. Is been a whole whole lot. It's just so strange that we're just so apprehensive to change. Mm -hmm. Like overall, and like people just don't want to move away from just posting flat lays. Right, right, right. Like, are we gonna do that forever? You know, right. Whether it was reels or not, like we have to evolve to make it more entertaining. Like, when's the last time like yeah. You really sat there and just like watch a plan with me like the old days, you know? There has to be more. Yeah. Community. There is, yeah like you said everything has to change and evolve and like i said if you don't want to that's fine but don't be mad at people who are okay with it i think yeah. that's the main thing there was just a lot of anger towards people who um were okay with it and wanted to ride the way ride the wave and were excited about the changes and the new things coming um i think a lot of people forget that social media is definitely optional and if it's not serving you or if it's causing you more harm or negativity than you want then log off like there are definitely other outlets to be able to connect Mm -hmm. with the planner community besides just instagram you know what i'm saying so even though instagram is the main one you can you can be a part of the community and not necessarily be um, a part of instagram so you know there's that too i mean i feel like it was facebook before instagram too so Mm -hmm. what's wrong with just continuing to evolve we did it before yeah 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 oh everybody wants to stay with meta apparently so you know that's fine yikes anyway (laughs) um (laughs) the next question was i asked what big events happened in the u.s slash the world this year and (laughs) obviously it's a lot of bullshit that happened so we don't have to go into the nitty-gritty of all of these topics i'm just going to kind of run through them so (sighs) you know roe versus wade being overturned was a huge response on this and something that i'm still kind of in shock so about mind blowing yeah. that that was this year i know insane i know so so wow um Brittany griner's release was an amazing thing that happened that just recently happened actually and i'm gonna be honest it's not something that i expected i mean she had been there it was going to be going on a year in february and it, from our perspective not knowing anything it just didn't seem like there was a lot of movement yeah um going on um but obviously there was and the biden administration did their thing and they got our girl home just in time for christmas with her family so i can't even think of anything better than that that was absolutely amazing yeah um, a thousand percent yeah mm-hmm. like you said i just wouldn't i i was kind of losing hope on that mm-hmm. so yeah it was a big shock big shock big shock uh the next one was russia invading ukraine and starting this crazy crazy war that is still going on every time i hear about anything going on over there and just how violent and awful that it's been it just it's just very upsetting it is very 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 upsetting to say the absolute least like come on Ugh. come on horrible 
I know. Um, the death of Queen Elizabeth. That was such an uh like a surreal moment. Surreal like, outer body experience kind of moment. She has been around for so long. Yeah. As the reigning monarch of you know the UK or whatever. And I think since she was 25 years old and she was in her 90s, I believe, when she passed mm-hmm. away, we had just never known a world where she wasn't the queen yeah. of England or whatever you want to call it. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? So it was, yeah, it's still very, very surreal. Very, very surreal. Um, and of course, uh, somebody had to bring up immediately after that, the Harry and Meghan documentary, which... I'm gonna talk about it on our December bonus episode, but just know I stand and I will fight for them because she's a fellow Megan. Even if she got an H in her name, that's fine. <laughs> that doesn't bother me at all. If you come from Megan, you come from me. Period. <laughs> but yeah, and Beyonce too, apparently. Period. Period. So, I mean... Beyonce stands. Beyonce texts her. <laughs> it was Harry's reaction for me girl he's so Harry is stan he is a stan <laughs> and you know what and it was so funny to me when megan was like she turned to prince harry and said mm-hmm. i can't believe beyonce is texting me girl do you know who you're married to <laughs> <laughs> the gag gag the gag <laughs> Oh my gosh, I love that documentary. So yeah, I'm going to be going into detail about that uh, on our bonus episode this month. Uh, oh God, Elon Musk buying Twitter. Hold the fact the that the, the, really, the thing that really pains me about that is he wanted to buy it. He attempted to get out of the deal and Twitter wouldn't allow him to. And they basically forced him to buy it. So he did buy it. And now it's a complete and utter shit show. Like the whole time I was wondering, like, why is Twitter being so greedy? Like, let him go. Like, you do not want him owning your company. And he has let go, what, of of about 50% of the workforce over there at Twitter. And he's just done all types of ridiculous stuff. Um, Suspending journalists who talk negatively about him accounts. Like it's like his own personal website. Petty. Yeah, it's like he's treating Twitter like we treat our Patreon, except we actually are nice to people in our Patreon. <laughs> but we will kick people out if we need to. Yeah, <laughs> like what? Yeah, it's he's it's ridiculous. his personal blog. Yeah, he's absolutely ridiculous. ridiculous. Yeah. Uh, somebody said the failed red wave. Yeah, <laughs> they were so hyped up too. They were just so cocky. Thinking that if they was just about to run some shit. <laughs> Epic fail. Epic fail. Uh, uh, Biden canceling student loan debt. Well, kind of, sort of. That's a continuation. That's a continuation yeah. into the new year. But um, it was a good moment. Very good moment. Uh, Katanji, Judge Katanji Brown Jackson's appointment to the Supreme Court. Yes. Oh, yes. Amazing. Epic. The Supreme Court became a little less ghetto with her being added to it, but it still it's just remains a tab extremely it. Yeah. ghetto. Mm-hmm. Um, Beyonce and Rihanna releasing new music. We still ain't got no Beyonce visuals and Renaissance been out for what, five months? Six months? Have you seen that TikTok that dude made a, sa- a song? Tell me, where's the visuals? <laughs> I don't think I saw it. <laughs> I gotta find it. Because it's literally, like, where are they? Oh Why are you playing with us? We we have been imagining. It's almost six months at this point. It is. Yep. We need to see the visual. And she gave us that little snippet mm-hmm. for uh the first track. That wasn't mm-hmm. enough. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. We won't, but she just had this event called Club Renaissance this past weekend in LA. Oh, Yeah. But we don't live there. We don't live there. And we wouldn't be invited if we did. Yeah. Uh, last thing is Benefer 2.0. Definitely did not see J-Lo and Ben Affleck getting back together and getting married. That was wild. That, I mean, they literally got back together like 20 years after they broke up. Wow. Wow. Mm. Did you even know about that before just now? You be so checked out of celebrity. No, we gossip. talked about it. Okay. We talked about it before. Yeah. That's the only reason why I know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh okay next thing we put a survey up um just to ask people how was their 2022 and um 47 percent of you guys said it was amazing and 52.9 mm-hmm. percent said that it was okay not the best and not the worst nobody voted that it sucked so that is great. oh yay that that's good yeah. you know 
Yeah. You know, 2020, the bar was at hell. So, you know, we, <laughs> we moved it somewhere. Literally. Yeah. <laughs> That's great yeah. news. And that is our survey. Once again, shout out to our patrons for participating in that. And one lucky patron uh got a ten dollars Starbucks gift card just for participating Yay. in the survey. So yeah, we love you guys. Yeah. That was awesome. Yeah. That was awesome. We love yep. y'all. Yeah. Um, obviously we had some really, you know, tragic passings of some really mm-hmm. amazing people in 2022, um, take off from the Migos passing away and Twitch, um, who used to be on the Ellen show passing away, like, uh, lots of, lots of horrible, horrible tragedies as well. So yeah, Aaron um, too. Oh yeah, Aaron Carter. Aaron Carter. Yeah. yeah, that's right. Aaron Carter passing away. Kirstie Alley Crazy. passed away. Um, yeah, just a lot of a lot of really really sad passings. So, yeah. Um, yeah, but that is our 2022 in review. Uh, last thing, well, one of the last things I wanted to do was give our final verdict on our Audi advent boxes and planner advent boxes as well um okay um <laughs> my planner ones were really good yes same. I got simply gilded mm-hmm. and villa beautiful both were really amazing yes. absolutely in love with both of them and I got fern creek and coffee monster skull both of them were absolutely amazing love them mm-hmm. will definitely purchase them again um yeah so win winning for the planner at this yes for real yeah a hundred percent that mm-hmm. that's great um but these Audis one Audi's canceled. Uh, <laughs> we are not taking Audi to 2023. We are mm-hmm. letting it be known right now. Yeah, I think next year, like even the wine one, um, Meg opened it up. She confirmed no Moscato. No Moscato. Sorry if it's not a spoiler a for everybody else, but y'all know. It's, <laughs> it's the it's 22nd. Been a rough you got two bottles <laughs> left if you're hearing this. You're fine. You're fine. <laughs> But yeah, I didn't even bother to even open up the rest because it's, it's just, it is very frustrating. But um, I will be trying Costco's. I'm not going to give up on all wine yes. events because I, I still find it fun. Mm-hmm. Um, I just, if anybody, like, can we make a sweet one? A dessert wine. Dessert okay. wine. Yes, I'm definitely going to be. On brand for Christmas. I'm going to be doing my Googles next, like September, October, to mm-hmm. see if there are any like dessert wine advents. And if you guys know of any, literally let your girls know because that's how we like that's the type of wine we like we are not grown-ups it's fine okay? we want juice we want juice <laughs> that's gonna give me a little buzz okay that's what we want period that's what we want. um yeah i'm with you aldi really disappointed me the only advent that i absolutely well you know what it, they didn't fully disappoint me i can't say that i absolutely love the fancy chocolate one that has definitely been my mm-hmm. favorite. All the I'm a chocolate girl, so I have been absolutely loving it. The hot sauce one has been super, super fun for my husband to do. He has really been enjoying that, so he'll definitely be doing that again next year. The cheese one has been 50-50. I'm not the biggest mm-hmm. cheese person in the world, um, but it's been good for what it is. It's actually made the wine one yes, better than sure. what it would have been. And the wine one is an absolute colossal fail like they had at least five sweet wines last year i know they did and we got zero this year zero who want to fight an aldi like why y'all <laughs> who who told y'all to change it <laughs> i'm just imagining because you know last year was our first time doing this mm-hmm. so i'm imagining a year before it, it must have been 50 50 and it's just been getting less and less as the year so. progressed i think it has been mm-hmm. yep yeah i think i don't know that's my theory valid. but i think so but yeah, I agree on the cheese. I'm 50-50 about it. Mm-hmm. Um, honestly, the 50% I'm with is just because it made the wine taste a little bit better. For real. Um, I don't think I'm going to do cheese. Like, I'm the same. I'm not really too big on cheese mm-hmm. anyway. So I won't do that next year. Chocolate, mm-hmm. if I do it again next year, I'll probably go a step down and not yep. get the fancy, fancy stuff because it's just too rich for me. Fair. Fair, um, fair. Yeah. But I'm also like 50-50 on chocolate too. But yeah. um. Oh, and the dreaded candle one. Oh, girl, I can't believe I forgot about the worst one. <laughs> the worst. I don't know if I'm more disappointed in the candle one or the wine one. What say you? Which one is a bigger disappointment? Mm. That's hard. It's hard. I'm going to say wine. 
okay. honestly, because while I had lower expectations for it to not have no sweet wines at all, it's just like I at least I yeah. was gonna get like five, you yeah. know, yeah, out of the 24 days, but Absolutely. um. Yeah, just none. I think that's the biggest disappointment. I didn't have like huge expectations for the candle because I, you know, it's Audis. You, it ain't yeah, yeah. homesick or bath and body. So I didn't have that high, but for to not be able to smell nothing. Mm-mm. You can't smell nothing. Nothing. It's, and you know what? It's just a huge waste. To put it into perspective, okay. The Al- the Aldi candle advent costs $39.99, okay. Mm-hmm. It has 24 candles in it. Is it 24 or 25 candles? 24. 24 sure candles. 24. Mm-hmm. I just did the math on my phone. That's like a dollar and 60 cent per candle. Our dollar 60 cent candles going to give what they need to give. Perhaps Probably not. Probably not. Yeah. Probably not. That's, but, yeah. but still, <laughs> like, I don't understand how it is. I still don't think it had to be this bad. Like you can't smell. We should anything. be able to smell it if we're sitting next. If it's on your desk yeah. and you're working, yes. you should be able to smell it. I don't yeah. expect it to, you know, fill the up whole a room. House or the yeah, room. yeah, like a Bath and Body Works candle, right? But you literally can be sitting right next to it and cannot smell it. Like literally. you have to pick it up and, and sniff it from there. Attempt yeah. to sniff, sniff it. Yes, mm-hmm. to um, to smell it. Yeah. So I, I literally, I gave up. I gave up on the candle one before I even gave up on the wild one. Like, I didn't even look ahead to see what the other candle ones were going to be because it didn't matter. I can't smell them. So, yeah. I don't I know mean, what I'm going to do with this box. I love the names of them. Um, I found the a few to be. It's beautiful. The box is gorgeous. Mm-hmm. Um, the names of the candles are uh, pretty cool, too. Mm-hmm. Um you know, without it burning, you can smell it. You know, if mm-hmm. you like get the oils going and like rub your finger, you can smell it. But I I don't know why I'm trying to make this sound better. It, it's not good, y'all. It's, it's just trash. It's very bad. <laughs> yeah, it's yep. bad. It is bad. Ah. Uh, but yeah. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, that is our uh, candle advent for 2020. You know Man, what? this sounds depressing. It does sound depressing. And you know what? Honestly, I think I messed up. So I waited every day to do my food ones, but I opened all my planner ones like as soon as I got it before it was even December. Next year, I'm going to do my my um my planner ones daily as well. Cause then I think I'll be a lot less, less disappointed. Like I'll have something fun and cute to truly look forward to every day where these advents have been such a fail, like these food ones besides the the um chocolate you know i, don't think I can commit to that i can't commit to it either but i want to that's my goal maybe we should have <laughs> one that we truly just open up like one yeah. out of i feel like because this year i put more of my funds towards like food and the audi advents than Same. planner stuff which is why i'm, I'm gonna reverse it next year i'm gonna reverse it next mm-hmm. year as well i'm going to commit and go in Mm-hmm. on the planner advents and maybe only get like one or two food ones yeah i really want to try that hot sauce one it's that fun. seemed like it was fun it yeah was fun. yeah so hopefully i can find that in wine and i'm good yep i think that's all i'm gonna do i think i want another hot sauce one for dallas but i want a chocolate and a and a sweet wine yeah yeah also random how's the princess book advent going girl we, is we it how i said track. yes oh. but we ain't been keeping track too. <laughs> mason will open three in one day and then we won't open in any oh like it's not just days. my child no yeah yeah exactly. okay yeah yeah she doesn't understand the concept of doing one per day because she got a little chocolate one too we got her like the little smallest mm-hmm. chocolate one she be trying to open up two or three we'll have it's once yeah. a day it's once a day sweet. one a day Come yep. back tomorrow. Come back tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> One a day. Yeah, yeah, Ash is the same way. I was yeah. disappointed that the books weren't um, holiday themed, though. I know. What it's was so the weird. reason? It's so weird. The, the first day, yes, but not every day after that. So weird. Trash. Yeah. Last thing, since this is the last regular episode of 2022, Myra, do you have any goals or hopes, aspirations for 2023? What, what's going on with you? What are you looking forward to? Um, goals, I'll, sh- I'll share one. Yes. Um, hey, I don't want to share that one. Um, 
Okay. Hopes and aspirations for 2023. I really am excited for Planners of Wine in 2023. Mm-hmm. I'm really excited to what we can do. We are working on building up our team. I hope we can grow a little bit more with that. Um, looking forward to guests mm-hmm. in 2023. Um, We're already going to be at two planner conferences mm-hmm. next year. So maybe oh, add even more. That would be amazing. Yeah. I don't know where I'm going to get the time. We're going to find but- it. We're gonna find uh, it. <laughs> I'm, it might have to be a like I'm in that day and out the next day. Period. Because, yeah, we're also doing, I, a lot of people have been asking, yes, I'm going to go to um, Wizarding World. I'm going to go to Universal next yes, year. Uh, we're also do. doing Disney. So that's mm-hmm. going to be fun. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, yeah, although I don't really care about Disney, I want to go to. Uh, Hogwarts. No love for Disney. <laughs> I want some real <laughs> butter beer. I want some period. real butter beer. Period. That's it. I just want to feel like I'm there. Yeah. You I know? Wanna, I want to go to uh what is it called? Alavander's out of Asker. What is it? The, the candle? I'm not the candle. The wine shop. Yes, we want to buy yeah. wines. We want to buy wines. Yeah. Even though Myra always has a few. Uh, you can all, you never have too many. <laughs> it's the guy that I like. I've literally gone him and Meg does not have. Do you have a one? Mm-mm. That's nope. That's I have a problem. I have a problem. I that's that. that's what you tell. Me. It's a healthy problem. obsession. Okay, it's a healthy <laughs> obsession. It's fine. But yeah, that, those are things that I am looking forward for. Looking forward to. Um. I mean, social media wise, I just want to grow. Yes. That that's a goal. I'll just keep it there. I, I like to just, you know, show people what I'm doing. Yep. Just do it and just come with it. But um period. Um, I'm looking forward to just sticking with my same planners. Yep. Yes. You know, yes. that's I, it. I feel more confident in the planners that I'm starting this year off with than I have in the past, truly. Mm-hmm. Truly, truly, truly. Because honestly, I kind of think it helps not starting something like fresh, brand new in the new year that you have never used before. Because you don't know how it's going to work. But when it's something that you either been using or you have used it before and you know that it works well for yeah. you, you know, I feel like you could just have a little bit more confidence in it. So yeah, I'm super excited to keep using my planners and have and actually be able to look back on them at the end of the year. Um Super excited for what's going on with Planners and Wow and how we are going to continue to grow um, and flourish in this amazing community. Uh, Shout out to the patrons. Looking forward to growing our Patreon community even more, inviting more people to join us. Uh, It is just always so much fun with them, doing more things with them. Um, And yeah, growing my own personal platform. Looking forward to really kind of getting into content creating and what that can do for me and where that can take me and um, getting really creative and just showing more of myself, more of the person behind the planner. Um, Obviously, we do that a lot on this podcast. That's the whole purpose of the podcast, but translating that more to my personal um, brand. I'm really excited. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm excited. Yeah. I can't believe it's about to be a new year. Yeah, I can't believe I just you just reminded me of the two conferences. Like what? Hell. <laughs> no. I am both in Q1 too. I don't know. I, know. I mean, I'm I'm super excited for it, especially um with the planner memory Cir- uh society so, one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, that one's gonna be, you know, Hogwarts theme too. So yes. I'm excited for that. Yeah. Um but yeah. yeah, I'm just like two and one quarter. We're gonna be busy. We're gonna be busy. I yep. best planner podcast. Period. And that's home period. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> and on that note, guys, thank y'all so so much for joining in on Planners and Wine for another year, season three of our show has been absolutely spectacular so 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 looking forward to 2023 and season four and everything that that is going to bring season four 
we can't wait to see y'all in the new year. We hope y'all have a happy and safe holiday. Happy new year. Happy 2023. Um, you don't have to miss us too much. If you hop on over on the Patreon, we're still coming yes. with our December bonus episode. Just saying. Yes. Shout out to the <laughs> Patreon. They will not be missing us. We no. really will be chatting with them. I'm so excited for the Facebook live. Yes. I think I'm gonna bring some games. Oh, that would be fun. Yeah, because uh, it, really it'll be fun. right before the holidays and we can yep. kind of get in the spirit and stuff. Yep, yep. We're doing yeah. our monthly Facebook Live on um, the 23rd on Friday night. So join Patreon now. You can join us over on there. And then, like I said, mm-hmm. the bonus episode will be coming out very, very soon. And yeah, we hope y'all have a, uh, a happy holiday. Anything yes. Else no, seeing y'all in um, season four um i got a feeling it's going to start out with a bang yep i'm pretty sure it will i think so yeah see y'all there all righty bye guys